What's going on? Let's get it on. Get up and go. Let ba, ba, ba. So we are on the global version of the game. Uh, the brand new badass Goku Youth came out. It actually looks like a cool card. I I have reservations about the category because I just feel like, I don't know, dude. Like I hate characters that don't have prepared for battle or over in a flash or like some type of like kind of um, guaranteed key link. But, uh... Then again, what do I know? What, 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 what do I know? Uh, but anyway, let's go. Get up and go. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Yeah, as you can see, I did not sign in yet. But um, new Dokkan event is out. I will not be summoning on the banner, and I mean it this time. I know for the other video, I said I wasn't gonna summon, and then I ended up summoning. But that's JP. JP you can go a little crazy. We can do this and that. This is global. It matters here. We don't mess around with the bullshit. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go with Welcome to Hell, Perfect Cell. Uh, come on, dude. I gotta, I was about to say, I gotta have a Cell team. Cell is probably one of my favorite LRs. He's fucking crazy, dude. He's a really good leader. And he's one of the OG, you know, he's pride of the, you know, the trifecta. You know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, Frieza, Cell. And then I'd say, I'd say Boo's still up there. Boo's, Boo's a good villain. I respect that villain. But, uh, yeah, so today is Friday, the Lord's Day. I actually, I actually, ugh, I got a disgusting hair on my phone, dude. I hate, ugh, ugh. I hate fucking hair, dude. Ooh, I hate that, dude. If I find a hair in my food, that's when, like, I'll throw up. I can't eat that shit. Ooh, disgusting. Get them hairs away from me, dude. That reminds me, I don't know if you've ever seen this episode of, uh, Seinfeld. I don't really watch Seinfeld that heavy. But uh, I do remember one episode where they were talking about hair and how disgusting it is. And how Jerry was saying when he was a kid, he once opened a cake and he like bit into it. And there was a hair that he bit into. And he, and he just ran uh, for miles until he collapsed because it was so disgusting. Like, I still remember that scene. That was a funny scene. You know, a, a Seinfeld. Good show. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Pretty good show. Um, but, yeah, dude, that's disgusting. But, uh... Yeah, like I was saying, it's Friday, Lord's Day, took off of work, I'm a smart man, uh, I got a lot of days to take off this year, I think I have a month, well, I, technically more than a month, I have 21 days, uh, not including sick days, so if you divvy that up, if I take 5 per, you know, for example, if I were to just take 5, 5 times 4, 20, I could technically take off an entire month, uh, which is great, I guess, I guess that's a good thing, um, so far, I think I've taken off maybe three or four days. So low key, bro. We go uh, low key. My intention is to have a lit Christmas and then everything in between. I think low key, I may take off uh, for the release of Pokemon, maybe a day or two. That game looks fucking good, man. Like I, I'm kind of hyped for it. The only thing that I'm kind of iffy about, like first of all. Let me just say, the legendaries for that game look cool. I like the legendaries. The I can't remember the names, but the one with the sword, Seath, the fucking... The sword dog. And then the lion, who me, who's made out of shields. That looks pretty cool. That actually does look cool. The starters don't look bad. The starters don't look terrible. So I don't know what their final forms look like, but they don't look bad. The only thing I saw from the Pokemon Direct that was a little weird was the, the Dynamaxing, like, how Pokemon become gigantic. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, who gives a shit? Like, why? Like, the, like I would rather see more Mega Evolutions. The Mega Evolutions, at least those motherfuckers, you know, they look different. They look edgier and cooler. They fucking, like, evolved into Digimon. Like, they look badass. Um, but that game looks pretty lit. I'm kind of excited for it. Um, it's, you know, half of it's because I do like Pokemon. I am a fan of it. And the other half is because there ain't no fucking games out and I need to play some Real talk. What the fuck, dude? I'm about to get a fucking hobby skydiving or doing some white shit. Uh, I really do have nothing to do. Well, I got things to do, but I, it's gotten to the point where I'm, I'm actually productive with my free time. Like, for the past, I don't know, this week and the last week, I've been working on, like, a side project with a repo. And that's fine, but... Fuck that, dude. Like, I'm gonna end up committing suicide if I don't get, like, some type of a hobby that's just fucking wasting time. Uh, I definitely need that in my life. But, um... Yeah, not, 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 not too bad. I took off today from work. Chilling, relaxing, maxing. Look at this. This is a pretty lit super attack. I like that. That's a pretty cool super attack. Um, relaxing, acting all cool. Uh, and, uh, I'm doing alright. I actually got my energy zapped a little bit today. Uh, because my dad came through, 
my dad. Shout out to my dad. He's a nice guy. And I basically spent a good six hours hanging out with him. My parents got divorced and my sister and my brother and my other imaginary siblings uh, were busy. They couldn't see him. So guess who had to come out? Who's the vanguard? Who's the man at the front lines? Your boy. So I just hung out with my dad, just talked about stuff. Basically, was just fucking being miserable together. He was basically complaining about my mom, complaining about how things have turned out in his life. And I'm just sitting there going, yep, yeah, it's pretty crazy, dude. Like, yep, pretty nuts. Honestly, I think that for me, like, ever since I was younger, like, I would always wonder, like, I would always be like, what, what's, what's life really about? When am I going to realize what's what and when am I going to feel like I'm an adult? Like, I thought when I first got my car and started driving, like, when I was 16, 17, I was like, all right, kind of feeling like an adult. When I first went to college, started going to college, I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like an adult. When I got my first job, that was probably, I was like, oh, wow, I kind of feel like an adult now. Like, I kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I'm feeling like I am an adult. And I think that, I was thinking, like, maybe when I get a mortgage or some shit, I'd really be an adult. I think the most important part of adulthood, and I think the moment you became an adult is when you realize how fucking stupid your parents are, like, what complete morons they are. Like, that's the moment where, like, you get to the point of adulthood where you, you see past the bullshit of your family and you go, oh, my God, I can't believe I've been fucking sitting around here. Meanwhile, these fucking dumb and dumber over here have been, you know, doing dumb shit. Because my parents, like, ever since I was little, like, my parents, majority... I'm a, this is what I'm going to tell you, right? Majority, my mom would do dumb shit, right? Love her to death. She's a great mom. She's a great person. But she would always spend money when we didn't have money. She'd take out credit cards in my dad's name without him knowing, charge it up. She'd fucking, you know, t borrow money, not pay it back, this, that, and the third. And it was just dumb shit. Just straight up dumb shit. But then, so my dad, like, all this whole time, he's like, he's like, you know, I try to save money, you know what I mean? This, that, and the third. But then, here's the thing, right? My mom, she spends money when she's not supposed to. Not the greatest thing. Debt isn't good. But then my dad just came and fucking like the underdog. He's like, listen, I'm not going to let this bitch upstage me. She's out here fucking racking up debt. We ain't got money. She's making me look like a normal human being. She's making me look like I'm actually got my shit together. I got to fucking pull my way and show that I'm stupid too. So my dad went out. He got a secret second wife. And fucking he's been quote unquote married to some other bitch for five years that no one knew about, and he came in, you know what I mean? Like, you seen that that recent boxing match with fucking Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr.? It looked like it looked like Joshua was just going to take it, but then Ruiz came back. He was a true fucking underdog. He came back, started knocking him out. He's like, I got a second wife. I'm fucking putting money on the side secretly. I got a secret fucking life. So it's just, you know, it's beautiful when you can see something like that, see that your parents... Your mother, who's been, you know, kind of wonky all your life, but then your dad just come through like a true fucking underdog and just really take the championship fucking belt. It's really beautiful. And it's, and it's just a weird thing for me because all my life, like my family, like my immediate family as well as like my kind of like my uncles and my aunts were kind of like mongy. Like, like, for, like for my mother's side of the family, everyone is like a diehard super fucking Christian. And they're great people. But, like, l let's just say, for one example, like, my uncle, my mom's brother, he technically, he legit has, like, a mental illness. Like, he has something wrong, like, a chemical imbalance, where, like, he'll talk to himself, he goes fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and er all my life, he's just been, you know, a little off the wall. He's a nice guy, but, you know, he fucking, you know, he always used to say mean shit to my grandmother, he always used to say some, like, really fucked up shit, and, like, all my life, he's been, like, the pinnacle, like, cuckoo, talk to himself, scream, curse, get upset... But that motherfucker looks more fucking put together, well put together, and more mature, and more fucking, you know, less crazy than my fucking mom and dad at this point. Because at least he, when he talks to himself, at least he's talking to himself. Fuck it. He ain't hurting anybody. Let him talk to himself. He wants to talk to the world who gives a shit. He's fucking chilling, having a good time. Meanwhile, my dad's out there. He's got a second fucking, you know, family going on. And then my mom's out here just spending fucking buco bucks for no fucking reason because she's trying to fill some void. And then I'm over here. I'm sitting. I'm sitting here. I'm like, how? How am I? How am I gonna figure out how to save this sinking ship? Right now the Titanic's fucking sinking, and I'm thinking to myself, what's the exit strategy? What can I do? And I don't want to just. I could get on a lifeboat and get the fuck up out of here, but I'm I'm trying to keep it all together. But I don't know if that's possible, because it's fucking hard, dude. It is fucking hard. 
but at least I've gotten used to it at this point. I mean, it, it, it is what it is, man. Because I'll tell you, when I was little, for example, I said my uncle's like a little crazy, right? When I was little, I always used to cry when he used to scream and curse at me because I, I was, nigga, I'm five years old. I don't have the fucking, the backbone and the ruggedness of a fucking adult. This guy's just, he used to just scream and curse and just be fucking racist. Like, like you'd just do something and he'd be like, what are you fucking doing? Like, he would just scream. Like, the thing that always used to bother me when I was little, he used to scream at my grandma and my mom. He'd be like, you fuck, his favorite catchphrase was you nigger fucking bitch. And it's just like, first of all, what the fuck, like, how, what, uh, uh, what the fuck is going on? Where, like, you, first of all, you think to say that, second of all, say it, and then third of all, becomes your fucking catchphrase. Like, what the fuck? And then, like, I'm young, I'm little, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why is this guy cursing? He's fucking saying all these racial slurs, he's fucking cursing all the time, and I would just cry like a pussy, but now it's like, whatever, he's fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puss. What are you gonna do? The niggas is crazy. What, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And that's the same thing with me. Like, this time last year, I was like, oh my god, my mom, she's fucking cuckoo, she's fucking. Not cuckoo, but she would spend money. We don't have the money. She'd take out debt. My dad, he's got a fucking second bitch on the side. He's spending money on her. She don't spend any money. I'm sitting there going, Jesus Christ, what am I going to do? Eventually, tragedy turns into comedy. They're fucked in the head. They're all fucking cuckoo. And at this point, I got to find out if I have the backbone to carry this shit. To put all these fucking, all these fucking bums on my back and carry these niggas to victory. I don't know if it's possible. My back is hurting like a motherfucker. I got, I think I got two slip discs in my back. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try to carry these ungrateful pieces of garbage to fucking victory. And it's crazy, dude. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, it, 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 it's like, it's really one of those things where it's like, I wish that there was some, like, higher power than me. Like, I'm not even, like, in terms of God or the government. But, like, if there was, like, like, for example, let's just say I had a grandfather who, like, fucking, you know, everyone listened to him and whatever he said goes and that, you know, he says this shit and, you know, people take him seriously. I'm basically looking for a man in my life that has authority to basically tell my parents, listen, you fucking, you crazy motherfuckers, you need to cut this shit out and get your shit together. But, unfortunately, my grandfather died, at least the one that that is like near to us like on my on on this side of the family he died nigga was a fucking world war ii veteran nigga had balls of steel but unfortunately for him back then uh he had heart issues and the medicine wasn't there so he fucking died when my mother was young and same thing happened with the other grandparents they passed away so there ain't no clout so it's looking like it's looking like and, and I thought about this, where, like, I just really wish there was, like, a fucking, a man or a woman, it, it don't matter, I'm not sexist, a, a, a fucking patriarch or a matriarch to come tell these motherfuckers they're crazy, but it's looking like, because I have no real family near me, around me, and there's no one that really cares enough, it's looking like I'm gonna have to nut up, I'm gonna have to get a fucking installment of two double D fucking balls, I'm gonna have to become the new... God of this family, I'm gonna have to become the new Lord Commander, and I'm gonna have to tell these niggas they're fucking mentally shot, they need to cut this shit out, and just, you know, stop being retarded, which is difficult because technically, I am their son, and, you know, they're my parents, and I should be looking to them for some type of guidance, but, like I said, one of the, one of the true telltale signs of adulthood is when you realize your parents are fucking retarded, whatever degree it may be, like, your parents might be retarded, but they're not as retarded as my parents. My parents, they take the fucking cake, dude. Like, uh, a lot of my friends compare, complain about their parents. You know, even some people, their their parents go through marital issues or whatever. But nothing like mine, nigga. Nothing like, nothing like people, like my fucking one parent that spends money on shit we ain't got money for. And then the other parent who thinks it's okay to have a fucking secret family in the background. It is what it is, dude. It is what it is, so... I guess that's a new goal of mine. You know how fucking Nardo has his ninja way? My nindo. My ninja way. Right now, my intention is save enough money, get some plastic surgery, get some titanium balls installed so I can fucking nut up and uh, basically just tell my parents that they're fucking crazy. Like, I really want to get to the point... Like, I I'm getting... Like, I don't know if this shit exists, but I kind of want it now where... 
you know how like when someone's like say for example someone's a little cuckoo and like you have to like take care of their affairs like they can't open up credit cards they can't you know do things financially i just want to do that for both my parents i'm like listen you niggas go to work earn money whatever you cannot open any credit cards you can't go into debt you cannot fucking go out and secretly buy any property with a fucking second wife you know what i mean like i just i wish i could do that um i probably can't and even if i could i, I don't know it, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm the asshole, maybe I'm just, like, thinking about it, like, I, I don't know, the, the thing is, that's weird, it's like, my parents growing up, they always, you know, they, they basically, as I've gotten older, all the different morals and the different kind of, I guess, I guess you would say, you know, kind of scruples they've instilled in me have kind of worn off, like, all the shit they used to tell me not to do, they do now, and it's like, what the fuck, what happened? Which is weird, but at the same time, it's like, you know, ever since I was younger, the whole idea is, you know, we're a family, we're a unit, let's move as a unit, let's not be fucking retarded, and then as I get older, these niggas went full fucking retard, and they act like it's just themselves, like, everyone is so selfish, everyone is so fucking, like, they go, like, they all put themselves in eyes and army, like, super eyes and army, they're like, yo, dude, I gotta fucking buy this for myself. Yo, dude. I gotta do this for myself. And it's like... The fuck is wrong with these niggas? Like, they're in, they're in Genjutsu. Like, what the fuck? Like, they're all fucking Kabuto right now. And, and there ain't no... There ain't no fucking Jutsu to break them out. That shit is fucking ironclad. They ain't breaking out of that fucking Genjutsu. But it's weird, because they're the ones who spit in the shit. They're like, yo, we a family, we a unit, we gotta be together. Meanwhile, like, I'm the only nigga saving money. Meanwhile, I'm the only nigga who ain't fucking, you know, going around doing dumb shit. Like, what the fuck is good with these niggas? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's ba like I'm basically trying to figure out someone who just fucking graduated and who just got a job. I'm trying to figure out plan fucking A is to buy a house to have these mongs live in, and then plan B is for my own mental sanity, is to fucking buy my own house and live out in that house eventually after I buy their house, which may or may not be possible. But the point I'm trying to make is, like, I'm trying to be considerate. I'm trying to make sure there's a fucking, you know, there's a place for, you know, my family and fucking siblings. Meanwhile, these niggas out here spending money. Meanwhile, these niggas out here doing the dumb shit. And it's like, yo, what the fuck, like... Why am I even bothering? Like, what's the point? And I think I ha I have not come to that conclusion where I'm like, oh, there's no point. These niggas are hopeless. They low key might be hopeless. I don't know. I'm still tr I'm still out here trying, grinding, low key on the inside crying. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I guess I just care too much. Maybe it's my own fault. Uh, but hey. Today's Friday, the new fucking X-Men movie's out. I heard that movie was a piece of shit, which is great, because, you know, it, that's a weird thing. The X-Men movies, like, most of them were fucking good. Logan was god tier. Logan was a good-ass fucking movie, dude. That, I think Logan, for me personally, that took the number one spot as best superhero movie. I always liked The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight was good. But for me personally, I, I like Logan way more, just, just personally. Um, but, uh... Like I was saying, like for the X Men movies, uh, all the past ones look pretty good, but everyone's saying that the most recent one with fucking Sansa Stark as the lead is a piece of shit. I don't know if that's true or not. I kind of want to see it. Keep it a bit. Keep it a buck. I got T Mobile, so I got those four dollar tickets. So low key, we out here about to watch those fucking movie. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I I tell you right now. You know how you hear a lot of corny shit where people are like, don't take it for granted. You got what you got. Don't take it for granted. If you have parents who are not mentally inept and fucking retarded, count your blessings. Because there's nothing worse than having to try to take accountability for people who are supposed to be accountable and responsible for you. So, with that being said, hopefully I will not end up dead. And at some point, hopefully I'll come back and I'll uh, have something to say. Hey, good news, guys. I found out that uh, my dad only has one secret family. It stayed that way for a while. I found out that my mom only has $10,000 in debt. It stayed like that for a while. I'm not looking for super positives. I'm just looking for some some W somewhere. We're going we gonna to have to look for these Ws. They ain't going to be easy to find. But it is what it is. But that's pretty much it. Shit was legit. And let me just say... Uh, if you've been looking at the Dokkan Battle subreddit... If that subscription shit is true with accounts... 
Low-key, I might have to cancel my Netflix to get on this Dokkan shit. 